Identical twins, or monozygotic twins, mono meaning one, occur because a single egg is fertilized by a single sperm to form one zygote, which then splits into two separate embryos. And recent scientific research has proven that identical twins are formed after the blastocyst collapses, thus splitting the cells in half and dividing the genetic material equally to the two sides of the embryo. This directly relates to what we learned in class about cell division. Uh, the two fetuses then develop separately, each containing the same genetic material, causing the identical characteristics of the twins. Monozygotic twin births are extremely uncommon, occurring at a rate of 3 per 1,000 births around the world. However, in vitro fertilization, which we also learned about in class, is more likely to produce monozygotic twins than natural conception. So, identical twins are often misconstru misconstrued as having um, the exact same genetic makeup, which is not entirely the case. They are genetically similar, but a new study has found that these types of twins acquire about 400 different genetic variations during their fetal development. And these are due to mutations or copy errors, which we also learned about, um, in the DNA of the twins after the embryos have split. Fraternal twins are also called biovular twins, or in the case of females, sororal twins. And they occur when two fertilized eggs are implanted in the uterus wall at the exact same time. And the eggs are fertilized by two separate sperm cells. Uh, the two eggs form two separate zygotes, which is why the scientific name for fraternal twins is dizygotic. Uh, fraternal twins do not have the same uh, chromosome profile. They typically look as similar as regular siblings would. In fact, they are referred to by many scientists as siblings who happen to be the same age. Fraternal twins can be different sexes or the same. And there is a genetic basis for why dizygotic twins occur, but it does not come from the father. Rather, the mother has all of the effect on producing fraternal twins. And they are most common in older mothers, typically over the age of 35. Fraternal twins are rapidly becoming increasingly more popular and more regular due to the fact that new technologies and fertilization techniques allow women to become pregnant with twins, um, fraternal twins, more easily. Conjoined twins, uh, commonly referred to with the slang term Siamese twins, are technically identical twins, but their bodies are physically connected. And this is one of the most rare types of twins and is a type of pregnancy complication. The condition is much more frequent with females um, at a ratio of 3 to 1, and the survival rate for conjoined twins is at an alarmingly low 25%. About half of conjoined twins are stillborn. So there are two somewhat contradictory reasons why scientists believe that conjoined twins occur. And the first is the one we learned about in class, which explains that a fertilized egg only splits partially and therefore physically connects the two embryos by a common organ. However, more recent research has shown that a fertilized egg actually completely separates, and then stem cells, which are designed to look for similar cells, find the stem cells of the other twin and fuse them together. So a few more common uh, types of conjoined twins are as follows. Twins fused from the upper chest to the lower chest are called the rasoomphalopagus, and they are the most common type of conjoined twins and often share a heart or a part of their digestive system. Parasitic twins are twins that are conjoined unequally, which means that one twin is smaller and less developed, and therefore acts as a parasite dependent on the other twin for survival. And the last, um, most common type of conjoined twin um, are cranlopagus, which means that the twins have fused skulls but separate bodies. Let's <laughs>